Heart disease is a silent killer with one in four people in America falling victim to it, according to the CDC. What if there was a way to catch that game ender before you feel any symptoms and address it before it's too late? Well, Dr. John Pierce is here from Preventative Diagnostic Centers, along with his patient, Eric Love. Good morning to you both. Gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back on the show. Thank you for coming in to tell us about your experience recently. Uh, you have something very unique in the state of Nevada, th th this scanner. Tell, us, tell us what it does. We have the only scanner in, in the state and pretty much on the West Coast. I think the closest one is in Palo Alto. And mm. we have this, uh, it's, it's called the Siemens Somatom Go All Pro, right? Mm -hmm. Big, long name yeah. for this thing, I'm telling <laughs> it was you. It right, right off the tongue, yeah. yeah. I have a hard time with it. Yeah, every time I say it, I'm like, oh, it's like, you know, she sells seashells, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, but the scanner is really unique in its technology because it can actually calculate the lowest effective dose of radiation to give to each individual patient. Oh, wow. So, like yeah. Eric and I were talking earlier and he was wondering about one of the, the radiation dose. And he's like, well, how come mine was higher than my wife's? Well, because she has you have a greater density than she does. Ah. Mm -hmm. And so, and that gives us the, because it can do that, it calculates that dose, so it gives us the most pristine images. So we have these very, very clear images. Mm. We can detect an abnormality in the system up to the size of a grain of rice. So just imagine we can catch things long before any symptom ever appears. This mm. is this is the sci-fi stuff that I've always thought. Like, why can't we just go into a thing, have it do, give us the full body scan, rather than like, oh, well, you're having pain there. All right, let's zoom in there. Oh, you got stage three. Like, right. you can see that before you're seeing any symptoms. The scanner is incredible. We're just looking at video of it. Mm. Right. Uh, the technology's come a long way. Absolutely amazing, right? It's the closest thing we have right now to a tricorder. A tricorder, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Nice. Eric, now you and your wife recently had a scan. What this month? And and what yes. made you decide to go in and, and have this done? Well, we wanted to get a a better overall picture of our health. Um, it really started with my wife is a cancer survivor, mm. Hodgkin's lymphoma, and we were lucky then to get out ahead of it. Mm. It's a whole lot easier to be first than to be lucky. Yeah. So we said, you know what? Let's go in, let's get the scans, let's get a complete image. And at the end of the day, good or bad or indifferent, we'll know what's going on and stay ahead of it. Peace so, of mind rather than the paranoia absolutely. of maybe something is oh, absolutely. Yeah. I have to admit, we were a bit pensive waiting for the results, but everything yeah. came back great and um, we're better for it. You know, we're here for our families and uh, we're healthy and uh, just ready to uh, keep moving forward. Absolutely. How was your experience with, with the uh, explanation of the results? Because I know sometimes I've gone in for tests and then I'm like, well, they're telling me I'm okay, but I don't really understand well, anything else they're telling me. They point to 77 things on a blood test, you don't know yeah. what the heck is. Was, was yeah, it exactly. clear to you what you were tested for? And Absolutely, yeah. you don't need a, a PhD, no pun intended, <laughs> uh, or, 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 or medical yeah. degree yeah. for that matter, <laughs> um, to, um, um, uh, what's the, um, understand, understand absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Everything is in plain English. You can sit there, you know, it, it gives you a rating of your calcium score. You fall between these levels. Mm -hmm. um, here are these other factors, so forth and so on. Everything else is clear or not. And it will make recommendations. You should follow up with this or follow up with that and, and go from there. The, the, the images are incredibly detailed. We actually have an example of how detailed they can get. Mm -hmm. What happens with the information that you get? Let's say you do find something that seems a little bit suspect. Mm -hmm. Where do we take this? We just go back to our, pr our practitioner and say, hey, look at what we found. So the way that we have our system in place yeah. is we do the scan. The, we have a board certified radiologist who's been in town at least the, for the 20 years that I've been in practice. Um, because when I was a med student, he was an attending radiologist at where I was doing some of my rotations oh, wow, here okay. in town. So, so he's been here for a minute. He's yeah. been here for a minute. Uh, Dr. Dean Yarbrough, he's mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. he, do, he reads the report. And then if there's any abnormalities in it, then it comes to my desk and I give the patient a call. And then I'll give them their advice. And generally it's, you know, listen, we have these issues that are going on. I suggest that you take this to your primary care physician or your cardiologist, and maybe they want to do some further testing. Because mm -hmm. again, we are looking at somebody who's got no symptoms, they're otherwise healthy, and we just happen to find these images or these issues, right, that are incidental, right? And so mm -hmm. when we find that, you want to get ahead of the game. We're not doing that type of care at this juncture with the clinic. We're just finding it. So we want you to go to your primary care doc. To and empower you. To empower you, yeah. absolutely. And there it can go the next level if it needs be. No In problem. most cases, uh, like we, we've had a patient that we uh, had a, a week or so ago on, right? Mm -hmm. And she had that high calcium score. And she went to the cardiologist and he said, well, let's do 
an angiogram and he took a look and he found that there was a blockage that needed a stent. So she didn't wait until she had a heart attack. Mm -hmm. She got it addressed Caught immediately, yeah. right? And her, uh, her lesion was, it was called the Widowmaker in, in yeah. the left anterior descending coronary artery. Yeah. Had she waited you know, for the symptoms, it's called the Widowmaker yeah. for a reason. Right? At the very least, so, her quality of life has been brutally improved because, because of this. At the worst, her life has been saved. Yeah, exactly. And, and you got to think of it as a, a new lease on life so she can start making some health changes, you know, in the future. You know, stop smoking, diet, yeah. exercise, things of that nature and reduce the risk of that getting worse. Doctor, right. we want to help other people out listening right now be able to reduce their risk as well by coming to see you. Uh, you have a special offer today. We do. We do. We're doing the heart and lung scan, and that includes the coronary artery calcium score, and we're charging $125 for that. Mm -hmm. It's typically $599, mm -hmm. so it's you know $125 for a $599 value. Gentlemen, it's Thank great you having so much, you. Guys. Thank you. You're saving lives today. Get peace of mind with technology you only find at Preventative Diagnostic Center. They're on South Tanea, just off the 215. Their number and website are right there on your screen. Preventative Diagnostic Center, a proud sponsor of the Morning Blend.